you are fantastic. Yes, all right. People who aren't geniuses have an amazing ability to stimulate it in others. Hang on, you were saying sorry a minute ago. Don't spoil it. Who's that? What the hell are you doing here? Oh, nice to see you too. I heard you were in the area. What are you up to? You're after this hound of hell, like on the telly? Oh, of course it is. One mention of Baskerville and he sends down my handler mm. to, to spy on me incognito. I don't just do what your brother tells me. Actually, you could be just the man we want. There's an awful lot of meat for a vegetarian restaurant. Excellent. Nice, scary inspector. What's this? Okay, no coffee. You never make coffee. You just did, don't you? Want you don't to? have to keep apologizing. Don't take you. So when you had the idea, after the... TV show went out. It's me. I couldn't help it. I had a bacon sandwich at Cow's Wedding and one thing just led to another. Nice try. It was like us having our own Loch Ness monster. And where do you keep it? It was vicious. Really? And then, a month ago, Billy took him to the vet and, uh, you know. It's dead. So it's over. It was just a joke, you know? Yeah, hilarious. You've nearly driven a man out of his mind. You know, he's actually pleased you're here. Secretly, please. Does it? You believe him about having the dog destroyed? No reason not to. Well, hopefully there's no harm done. But that wasn't what you saw. That wasn't just an ordinary dog. No. Right. It was immense. I've got a theory, but I need to get back at the basketball to test it. Wow. Oh, pull off the ID trick again. Hello, brother dear. How are you? Poor animals. I need to see Major Barrymore as soon as we get inside. Right. Which means you'll have to start the search for the hound. I'd love to give you unlimited access to this place. Why not? It's a simple enough request, Major. Oh. I may have to comply with this order, but I don't have to like it. I don't know what the hell you expect to find here anyway. The big coat should have told me. You're one of the conspiracy lot, aren't you? Monsters, the death rays, the aliens. Have you got any of those? Unless you want a cold. It was the hound. Joke. It was here. No, it's not! It's not okay! I saw it. I was wrong. You saw what you expected to see because I told you. You have been drugged. We have all been drugged. Her? Oh, back again. Will you tell little Kirsty what happened to Bluebell or shall I? Are you sure you're okay? You look very peaky. No, I'm all right. The rabbits. Yeah, I call her Victoria, if you really want to know. It was a mix-up anyway. My daughter ended up with one of the lab specimens, so... Poor Bluebell had to go. <sighs> Listen, if you can imagine it, someone is probably doing it somewhere. Of course they are. I'm cloning? Yes, of course. Mm. Dolly the sheep, remember? Size isn't a problem. Not at all. The only limits are ethics and the law, and both those things can be... Very flexible. Hallucinogenic or delirious of some kind. There's no trace of anything in the sugar. A genetically engineered monster. 
We have eaten and drunk exactly the same thing since we got to Grimpen, apart from one thing. You don't take sugar in your coffee. It's perfectly all right. But maybe it's not a drug. No, it has to be a drug. It has to be something, something. Something. What? Get out. I need to go to my mind palace. The what? He's not going to be doing much talking for a while. We may as well go. It's a, a map with a location. It doesn't have to be a real place and then you deposit memories there. This imaginary location could be anything, a house or a street. Yeah. <laughs> it's a palace. He said it was a palace. Nothing. Liberty, Indiana, how? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Project Hound. Must have read about it. Spotted the way. That's as far as my access goes, I'm afraid. Well, there must be an override, a password. Describe him to me. You've seen him? Uh, describe him. Uh, he's Bloody Martinet. A traditionalist, not the sort of man that uses children's name as a password. He loves his job, proud of it, and this is work-related, so what an eye level. Churchill. Well, he's fond of Churchill. Oh. Copy of the Downing Street years, one, two, three, four, five separate biographies of Thatcher. That date, I'd say Falkland's veteran. Right, so Thatcher's looking more likely better than Churchill. Maggie. it as an anti-personnel weapon to totally disorientate the enemy using fear and stimulus but made them almost uncontrollably aggressive so someone's been doing it again five principal scientists 20 years ago maybe somebody who says cell phone because of time spent in america you remember john mm -hmm. here's my uh, cell number what doesn't even work on i mean he's a virologist this was chemical warfare that's where he started though. nice of him to give us his number <laughs> let's arrange a little meeting He's got a gun. He went for the gun and shake it. What? Uh... So sorry, Dad. Uh, get away from me! Easy, Henry. Easy. Uh... Just relax. I know what I am. I know what I'm trying to do. It's all been explained to you, hasn't it? Explain very carefully. Remember now, Henry, you've got to remember what happened here when you were a little boy. Oh, oh Jesus, I don't, I don't know anymore! I don't! I saw here 20 years ago. You'd started to piece things together. Remember what really happened here that night. driven out of your mind so that no one would believe a word that you said. Uh. Shut up! The hell last night, we, we, we did this. There was a dog, Henry. It was nothing more than an ordinary dog. We both saw it, saw it as our drug minds wanted us to see it. Uh, no, 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 Henry. no, no, no! Sherlock! No, no! You're saying this? Right, he is not a drug, Sherlock. So what's that? <laughs> but it's just a dog, Henry! It's nothing more than an ordinary dog! It's the fog! The drug! It's in the fog! Aerosol dispersant, that's what it said in those records. I was a brother's dog! It discredited every word you ever said about your father. Dog. And he had the means right at his feet. Murder weapon, the scene of the crime all at once. Oh, this case, Henry. Thank you. <laughs> Not good? No, no, it's it's okay. This means that my dad was right, and he found you right in the middle of an experiment. Frankland! My God! Good job, Sal.
Well, that's one way to go out. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Bill. So they didn't have to put down them, dog. Mm. Listen, what happened to me in the lab? Just with it elsewhere. You went to the lab, maybe. And you saw those pipes pretty ancient, leaky as a sieve. Better get going, actually. There's a train that leaves in half an hour, so if you want to... Oh, God. It was you. I was terrified, Sherlock. I was scared to death. The drug was in the sugars. I put the sugar in your coffee. Sit here with me. All right, keep talking. I'll find you. I knew what effect it did have on a superior mind, so I needed to try it on an average one. Uh -huh. You know what I mean. You were wrong. It wasn't in the sugar. You got it wrong. A bit. Won't happen again. Bloop. Not at all. You'll be fine once you've excreted it. We all will. Yeah. Where are we going? Give me a minute. Mm -hmm. Got to see a man about a dog. All right. Let him go. This episode was really good, guys. I really liked it. Once again, this was completely a movie. Um, I really like this whole thing with the gas and like you get to then it making you think it's a dog, a killer dog, but ended up being that guy. Why did that guy jump over the fence where he knows damn well? If, I mean, if he's doing experiments and it was in the minefield, so and he knew that to cover his mouth and and how to manipulate people. Why did he jump over the fence where all the, um, the bombs were? Chill, that's one way to go. Um, he is not going to be in the next episode. Um, overall, though, I would rate this a 9.5 for me because it was very interesting. You know, once again, this show is an extremely long show. And I would, I'm very curious to see the people that watch this show and love this show because I, I really do like the show. But did you, do you guys ever get, like, tired? Do you guys take breaks in between watching this? Like, I don't, so I go straight in. But, like, if I feel like I could take a break and, like, you know, go get some food a slice of pizza um pepperoni please um i feel like i would be like you know more like relaxed but because i'm a reactor and i have to react to things um it's just like the constant thing so i kind of get like or maybe because like i have add so sometimes i kind of like zone off into my own little things during the show unlike the last episode i was really into it because it really had all my characters in there. Um, but this episode was still, it was still very good. I just wish I didn't have like, <whistles> moments. Um, I really, I, like, I liked all the characters. It all, this show always keeps you guessing. Get, I bit my tongue. Keeps you guessing of what's going on. But to tell you the truth, I knew it was, I knew it was that guy. I, I don't care what anybody says. I knew it was that guy. I knew that guy had something to do with it. Um, he just was too jolly holly for me. Um, I thought for a second the woman had something to do with it. I thought they were kind of like partners in something. But overall, like, I knew it was him. I was like, yep, this guy is gonna... The next episode, I'm gonna kind of guess who... I'm assuming that this character at the ending is gonna be maybe the person that we're gonna wrap up this season with. It just makes sense. No idea who it is. I really do hope, as also, I'm just going to touch into the next episode. I hope that we're going to get more of our main characters like that we saw in the first episode because they were phenomenal. But overall, like I said, this is a 9.5 and I really can't wait to see your comments down below. So with that being said, guys, did you see this reaction? Realize you are not subscribed. Hit the subscribe button, also please like and share this content because it is wonders for this channel. And I'll see you all next time on Andres L. Yeah. Right.